Hello everyone, I'm excited to have you all back as today's teardown is something special. I've been flooded with requests from all you amazing subscribers so today I'm beyond excited to share with you the complete teardown of the JBL Party Box 1000. But before we dive into this teardown, I want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of you. Your support is what fuels my teardown passion and inspires me to create even more content for you. As always, I'm always here for your future teardown suggestion so don't hesitate to drop down your teardown suggestion in the comment below. With that said, let's dive into it. The JBL Party Box 1000 is a powerhouse that stands tall at 15.6 by 15.3 and 43.3 inches and weights in at a solid 76.5 pounds. But that's just the beginning. With the whopping 1100 watts of output power, this beast is ready to shake the room. And let's talk about aesthetic. The Power Box 1000 has a dazzling full front LED light panel that adds a touch of visual magic to your audio experience. And that's not all. The Party Box 1000 comes with features that makes it more than just a speaker. You can dive into the DJ experience with its built-in launch pad, plug in your microphone or guitar for a live performance, and all of it with the convenience of Bluetooth and USB playback. Now I know that this is not the most petite speaker in the Party Box family, but trust me, size doesn't matter when you're dealing with the Party Box 1000. Now buckle up as we tear down and unravel the secrets inside. First into the teardown, we will turn the speaker to the side and remove four orange rubber feet in order to remove the four screws. We will turn the speaker to the side and repeat the same process. Now we'll turn our speaker to the back and remove this black sticker cover in order to remove 22 screws. We will now turn the speaker to the front and take our attention to the top of the speaker. We will now locate and remove three sticker cover to reveal three screws that we will need to remove. With that done, we can gently pop up the top cover and disconnect one ribbon cable to completely remove the cover. Here we have the top portion of the speaker which contains the control board and all the main buttons. To remove the PCB board and the control buttons, we will need to remove 11 screws. We will also need to remove the two front knobs to release the boards. Here we have the top panel, which is a sturdy piece crafted from durable hard plastic. It features a sleek silicone handle ensuring a comfortable and easy grip for seamless handling. And here we have the silicone button for the DJ launch pad and other various buttons such as bass boost, volume up and down, and pause and play. On the back we have these white plastic support for the buttons which also work as a subtle light diffuser. Here we have another silicone buttons for the power, Bluetooth, lights, and input. To separate these board, we will need to remove four screws. And here we have the light board. This board not only holds all the regular buttons, but also contains 16 touch LED DJ launch pad buttons, which allow you to elevate your DJ experience with just a touch. There's also this black plastic support cover that can be removed by taking off four screws.
And here we have the PCB board for the other buttons, which include voice cancellation, key leveling, echo adjustment, and smart DJ. Now let's go back to the top of the speaker. As you can see, we have here two small cooling fans and a Chinese circuit board. To take out the fan, it will need to be unscrewed from the inside. As for the board, it will need to be taken off by removing two screws. This board main function is nothing more than to connect the two fans to the motherboard. Right in the front top side here, we have a little Bluetooth adapter card that provides the party box with Bluetooth 4.2. It is glued tightly onto the enclosure, so I'm just going to leave it alone. One thing to be careful about is this side panel. It has an antenna attached to it, so you will have to disconnect the antenna from the motherboard before removing the panel. Now we will turn the spear toward the back. We will go ahead and remove 5 screws to remove the top cover. Once removed, it can be gently pried off. Now we can remove the two cooling fans by taking off four screws from each fan. These fans has a dimension of 40 by 40 by 22 millimeter and are rated at 12 volt and 0.10 amp. And here we have the cover that helps keep the internal components protected. Next we'll go ahead and remove the antenna so the side panel can be safely removed. This panel is a rigid plastic piece measuring around 24 and a half inches long by 13 inches wide and boasts a glossy front finish with lines spanning its entirely and a prominent JBL exclamation mark icon in the center. The other side panel replicates the identical design but featuring the JBL logo instead. Moving forward, we will remove the rear cooling fan by taking off four screws. Despite its appealing metal cover, it doesn't specify any part number to get more information about the fan. Now we will remove the rear audio input board by popping out the mic and guitar volume knobs. Now there are four screws that we will need to remove. With that done, we can lift the audio input board and disconnect the three connection going to the motherboard. This audio input board is equipped with a convenient USB input that allows you to connect a USB storage device or charge any external device. It has aux, line in, line out, guitar and microphone input, and a dedicated volume and gain controls. Next, we will remove the motherboard and power board by taking off 13 screws, two ribbons cable, and four cables. Once done, both boards can be lifted as they are connected together. First we have the motherboard. This component allows the speaker to function as a versatile device. It is a Bluetooth speaker, PA system, karaoke machine, and even a guitar amplifier. It allows for true wireless pairing to another party box 1000, however, it's worth noting that it's not compatible with the JBL Party app. 
And here's the power board that provides the speaker with up to 1100 watts of power. Keep in mind that this speaker do not contain an internal battery like the other party box model, so it will be required to be plugged in for operation. Next, we can go ahead and remove the A screws from the front grille as well as detaching these cables from the clip on the front grille. We will need to remove the holding tray by taking off 11 screws. This tray serves a dual purpose of securely housing both the motherboard and power board while functioning as a heat sink effectively dissipating heat generated during use. Now we can take our attention to the bottom of the speaker. There are 8 plastic cover and screws to remove. And here are the two plastic cover that need to be removed prior to taking off the bottom cover. Now we have four more rubber cover and screws to remove from the feet. Now we can remove the bottom cover from the enclosure. The base of this structure is made of robust and durable plastic that is designed to bear the entire weight of the speaker. And despite the grill's fragile appearance, it possesses surprising strength and resilience. Now we will remove the wheels by taking off 6 screws and then removing the AC cable cover to reveal 4 more screws. And here we have the rugged wheels. They are firmly attached to this rigid and sturdy metal frame that is designed to support the weight of the speaker when in motion. Now to remove the bottom woofer, we will need to remove 8 screws. With the screw removed, we can now lift the driver out and pull the cable through. This is a 12 inch subwoofer that delivers rich, deep bass that enhances the listening experience with its powerful and loud sound that is capable of shaking an entire room. And we can detach the front grille by prying it off. The front grille housed both the LED board and the tweeter. To remove the LED board, we will need to remove over 48 screws. Once removed, the board will come right off. The LED board comprised of six separated pieces interconnected and as a whole, they contain a total of 108 LED lights.
Located on the front grill is a 2.5 inch tweeter. During the time of this recording, I did not see any visible screws, so I decided to leave the tweeter alone. Upon close inspection, it seems that removing the tweeter may just be as simple as twisting it off. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and remove the two mid-range driver by removing six screws from each driver. Here we have the two 7 inch mid range drivers. They produce loud, clear mid range sound and deliver the fundamental frequency of many instruments and vocal with clarity and volume. And here we have the remaining wooden enclosure standing at approximately 30 and 38 inches in height with a front width of around 14 inches wide and a rear width of 9 and 3 4 inches. This enclosure incorporates plastic housing for the mid-range driver and rear port and help enable the speakers to deliver powerful deep bass that truly shake the room. And this concludes the complete teardown of the JBL Box 1000. If you have followed along until the end of this video, kindly consider giving the video a thumbs up to support the channel and feel free to share your thoughts in the comment below about how this video helped you. Thank you once more for your ongoing support in making this video possible. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next teardown.